Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Guard investigating a fatal shooting in North Dublin. A man in his 40s was shot around half past 10 last night in Santry. It's understood Gardaí were called to an apartment in Larch Hill near the Oscar Trainer Road to investigate reports of gunfire. The scene of the shooting has been sealed off for a technical examination. Running riot, Vancouver turned into a war zone after the city's ice hockey fans reacted to their team being beaten in the Stanley Cup finals. An angry mob set cars and bins on fire, smashed windows and looted department stores after Vancouver Canucks 4-0 loss to Boston Bruins. Smoke could be seen over the Canadian city's skyline as blazes raged downtown. Police said they had reports of several stabbings. This is wrong for the city. This isn't the reputation we want. After Olympics, we did so much to bring this city to where it is today. And this is what we do now. This is not what the city wants. This is not what the people want. Al-Qaeda has a new face. Ayman al-Zawahri has been chosen to succeed Osama bin Laden as the chief of the terror network. A statement posted on a website linked to the group confirmed the 59-year-old as the new leader. Al-Zawahri, who appeared in dozens of videos in recent years, has promoted suicide bombings and independent militant cells that have become the network's trademarks. A build-up of extreme weather is wreaking havoc in Oz. Authorities in parts of New South Wales say they're waiting for water to recede to assess the scale of damage caused by worsening flooding in the state. Areas have been declared a natural disaster zone following days of rain, but a severe weather warning was cancelled early this morning after heavy rain eased slightly. Uh, uh, sandbagging, tree, roof jobs and uh, flood rescues have been a focus uh, overnight also and since the event began on Tuesday. Some had lunar luck last night. One of the longest and clearest total lunar eclipses in years was visible in some parts of the country. It happened when the Earth cast its shadow across the moon. The US and Canada was left out of the spectacle, which was best viewed in East Africa, Asia, the Middle East and Oz. We get probably a couple of lunar eclipses a year on average. Um, this one is a nice one because the moon is going through almost the centre of Earth's shadow and therefore it'll have the most richest red colour. Grab your hat and monocle, it's Bloomsday in the capital. Throughout the day, dubs can expect readings, songs and performances in various locations inspired by James Joyce's Ulysses. The, festi the festivities in Dublin kicked off with a traditional Bloomsday breakfast in the Gresham Hotel. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, this guy's flipping over his truck. At number four, who thought Little Lee could be so dangerous? At number three, making waves, it's the canines that weren't happy with just walking. At number two, this kitty is refusing to give up the dirty habit. <laughs> and number one today, a perfect example of why goal nets are important. Tune in to FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more in the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie and Paul will be here with the sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.